Hello everyone, this is Face. I'm now coming back to you with the long-awaited part 6. Or when I say long-awaited, I mean I have a friend who keeps nagging me about it. So, to set myself up for this, I've got so much orange monster energy drink that I probably could tip over most western states with it. But, enough talk, let's get into the game. Yes, play. Yes, play. Beautiful. Now come the loading screen. I have a sinking feeling I've seen this before. Clementine, when you do that, you're just a picture of lonely. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! Yeah. What the hell are they doing? I've definitely seen this before. Come on, I have a come feeling on, I'm gonna get into an argument soon. What happened? Oh, what the hell are have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, of course, she's just no? misgrateful. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, That's a good what? girl, Clem. No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come huh. on, you're the being dramatic. man said tater. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. And I'm probably hey, going to get dragged into it. I didn't ask to leave this group. Bleh, Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. I will just say Dad, now, I'm please. just thinking. Why don't you go I'm help just Mark with doing the wall. what I think I did last time. Now she's gonna put me in charge of the foodstuffs. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Yeah, call it. Good luck. Four food items for ten hungry people. Well, that's just great. Well, as I said in the last video, I was thinking children first. Then again, I really don't like duck. 
Well, I, it's not that I don't like him, he just... He's like me, he talks a lot. And I would definitely leave me if there was zombie apocalypse. Well, here we go. Look at bookcase. Well, let's try that. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Okay then. Well, let's talk to her. See Is what he we can gonna get be out okay? Of I don't know. Can you give me a hand, real quick? Uh, sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Yeah, that's my bad. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. Good. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Well, you got over that fairly quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I just thought I was just going to walk into the camera there. Well, let's talk to this... Oh, I don't get a choice How in the matter. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? Oh. I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. So I can talk to that frat boy. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. Give him food, ben. really? Ben Paul. The ben man Paul. you saved is Mr. Parker. The band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Hmm... You'll be prepared next time. Yeah. Next time? Yeah. See, if I give him food, they're gonna end up nailing me to a cross. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. Especially if I, I sure give him food so. first. Uh, well. I probably will also get nailed for giving Clementine some, but she's a child. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. Damn, she's a clever little girl. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm what? so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Ah, Conscience! Conscience! I'm gonna have to give her food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, what the hell should I give her? Didn't I have four food items? Well, I think she's gonna do best with half an apple. I love apples! Yes! Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Uh, three pieces of food left. Well, duh. Uh, you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. 
That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hmm. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Cat or tiger? Cat or tiger? Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Yeah, bye, Doc. Uh, let's talk to Lil... Uh, she's not Lily. What the hell is her name? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Yeah, it may have screwed you over emotionally, but it was either you or him, you know? Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. She is such Thanks, a Carl. nice person. Which is horrible, Back because usually bit. when people are nice in this sort of thing, they die horribly. Well, let's see then. Let's go talk to the Kenny Meister. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Well, get away from the mainland, I can sort of agree with. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, because Clementine didn't look like a complete emo kid in the beginning of this. Where are the other assholes at? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Can you still swing a 2 by 4 sir? Because you should hit that fuck over the neck. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. Oh, no, no shit. way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. <laughs> Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Jesus Christ. As soon as I get the fucking chance, you die, you sir. Help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Yeah, but in the face. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Yeah. Again, if I'd given you the axe, it would have been solidly planted between or in your eye. <sighs> Old fart. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. 
We'd be fine without you. Jesus Christ. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. I'll tell you exactly what to do. Suck a dick. Oh, did I just say that on YouTube? You know what? That's effing it. I'm giving it to people I like. And sue me. Oh, by the way, I'm missing one person. Oh, there she is. The cow over them all. We should talk about you and Kenny. Yeah, let's yell us? that all over the place. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, and yelling at Kenny will definitely make food appear. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Exactly. Keep an eye out. Fine. Yep. And you and your dad are not getting any food because you're bitches. See, I am giving my food here. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. No. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Exactly. Seriously? I can't give her food? Uh-uh. Well... Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! And you know what? Just to be annoying... Who is... Oh, yeah, that's Mark. Mark, would you like some food? Just to piss off the guy next Here, to you? eat something. Uh, let's see... You'll get crackers and cheese, and thanks, Lee. Let's see. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm not gonna eat for myself right now, at least. Kenny, you son of a bitch, where are you? Oh, that was a that was a poll. Maybe I should eat. If I start walking into poles, to it's, it's not good. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Of course they noticed. If I'd fed Lily, they'd notice too. So, food handed out. Let's see how many times I will not get shot. Not such an easy job, is it? Yeah, it is. said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. Yeah, I knew it. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. No, but I see you working, and you should put your back into it, you old fart. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Nah. At least he's not our problem anymore. <laughs> oh, shit, Lee. What about the other kid? Holy shite. 
thought I heard something creepy. Oh, just die already. Oh. You are just annoying. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. No, don't shoot. Oh. You okay? Oh, fuck yeah. me. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh, Jesus Christ, Why I hope you die. Why didn't tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? Yep. I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Um... You we'll got try. a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Couple gallons? So, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, like but nine we still have ten lots liters. of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Oh, you think? Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Uh, well, not thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. Mm -hmm. That can't be easy. Nope. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. 
I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Again, you are such I mean, a nice person. God you could, so might as well just wear a red shirt. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where oh, are you from? No. The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. So I'm Mom's here been running with the two new characters. For, well, as long as I can remember, but uh, oh, now sorry. it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it There's up. There's only two Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate them. it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Wow. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh yeah, waste Jesus. ammo like that. That's a great idea. Asshole. And now you have attracted oh, every dairy. walker. Going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Did he shoot him in the head? Did he? Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. St. John. Y'all can see how he kept this place so safe. The fence keeps him out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's I still don't right. trust these Hopefully people. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can oh, help Mark, you shut the fuck up. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? It looks like a very small and why pale don't I head version back of the Lurch. Food and round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. 
Don't die, please. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yep. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Beautiful. Oh, and Mark, you're still a fucking idiot. Well, anyways, this is going to be the end of this part. Um, hope you'll join me for the next one. This was Face. Have a good time.